All right, guys, so I just got home from Market Basket, and everybody always asks me what I buy. And I typically go grocery shopping two to three times a week because our meals change, we decide we want something different. Um, my husband and I eat mostly keto. He's kind of gone on board because he likes the healthy kick. My kids, however, still eat apples and things like that, and I'm totally all about that because why not? So I figured I would show you guys some of my haul today so that we could discuss what's good and what's healthy and how you use it. Okay, so my favorite thing, Zevia right here. That's cherry soda and cream soda. Every time I find it, I buy it, and I did just buy a bunch of it yesterday. No regrets, I will drink it. Celery sticks, I get these ones um, already cut up rather than the whole bunch because they were 50 cents cheaper and they fit better in my already stocked really bad fridge. <laughs> Um, green onions, I love adding these to different uh, salads, meats, um, veggies, whatever I'm really doing, I like to cook with them. Today I'm making a crab rangoon sort of dip with cheese crisps for me, but everyone else will have regular um, crackers. So that's what those were for today. Today I got chicken sausage, uh, both in buffalo style and blue cheese and spinach feta because they were on sale, so that was pretty awesome. I probably have stock in cream cheese. I have four here right now because I make a lot of different things with them and being keto, that seems to be a pretty good staple. Two things of butter because I freeze it. Um, so when it goes on sale, I definitely put it away. I use Kerrygold in my regular, but when I'm cooking and stuff, I don't see any difference. Apples for Tegan because my daughter is obsessed. Uh, two cucumbers, we use those habitually in our salads and snacks. Rayo's is probably the best um, tomato sauce that I have found. I love the flavor. We use it in pizzas or our pastas or basically anything. Um, I use it for dips a lot of the time if I'm doing something like meatballs just for me. Um, the carb count's really good on it. So if you can take a look right here, you're at six fat, four carbs, one protein, and it's thicker. A lot of the more natural ones you find aren't as thick. Um, two cheeses, because we're going to cut those up. I'm going to make chips out of those. Uncured Thick Cut Bacon. Applegate has been a really great brand for me. I really love the flavors that they have, as well as no antibiotics, no nitrates. It's well raised. Um, you know, I really look at what is in it uh, more than ever now that I've read about nitrates and how they affect your body and the growth. So my kids are kind of out of luck there, but no casein, all of that's good. Pork contains less than 2% of the following. Sea salt, cane sugar, and celery powder. So it's basically just meat, which I really like. Bruschetta, that's for today. For everybody, I'm going to do um, bread with bruschetta on top because it's just easy. And for me, I will dip my cucumbers in it. Ricotta, sour cream, self-explanatory. Spinach dip, just because I think the card count on this is phenomenal. Right here, you can see... It is two tablespoons for 50 calories, four fat, uh, carbs are three, and sugar is only two grams and one protein. So that's not so bad to either dip your veggies in or, you know, actually put on a salad or, you know, lots of different uses for that. You could actually stuff chicken with that. I've done that before and that came out really yummy. Just adds another flavor level. Romano cheese, my daughter could literally eat that by the pound. We go through so many eggs. I get three cases, and I don't really worry. We literally go through. Most of the time I get farm eggs, but when I'm doing like stuffed eggs and stuff like that, sometimes I just go for the simple ones. Cooked shrimp, um, those are awesome in stir fries, in just eating them with cocktail sauce for my family, or I'm going to be trying to do a coconut shrimp recipe that I have been working on so I'll post that for you guys later. These are mushrooms that I'm going to stuff because stuffed mushrooms are phenomenal and uh, why not. My husband is obsessed with chicken wings so they had small ones and I think I'm going to crisp those up in the broiler and make the skin really crispy and then toss them with a garlic parm because that's phenomenal. And then I found that doing these steaks it's a certified chuck eye steak. I get my cast iron skillet out and I braise these, uh, excuse me, on each side, get them really nice uh, and a nice crisp on each side. And then I throw them into the oven and bake them off. And my family goes nuts, specifically my husband, because I can use Kerrygold on top and really bring out the flavors. So that's a good one. 
My kids love to make pizza, so today I'm having my nephew over too, um, and we're gonna do some pizzas. And I don't have to do dough because I'm making it easy. Okay, olive oil, Hellman's. We go through a ton of mayonnaise, whether it be me or my husband or my kids making sandwiches, so this seems to be the best for that. Six fat, under one carb protein, not too bad on the sugars and stuff, so I'm not really worried. It's just a trace thing. I understand there's soybean oil in it. Some people have an issue with that. I don't. Um, I do have the Primal Kitchen uh, Sriracha one, which I got yesterday for myself. Very excited to try that. However, I'm not going to beat myself up if I use this too. This one's a really good plain base. And um, I tend to go with the olive oil over the avocado just because I like to really control my fats. So stay tuned and I'll have more.